Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Amy and this is Dino Budgets. Today we are going to be unstuffing for our spending for the previous week. And so there's really not a lot, guys. I think you'd actually be surprised at how little I spent. I think it's because I'm surprised at how little I spent. So before we dive into how much it was that I spent, guys, let's see what T-Rex is trying today. Now remember, no matter what type of day you're having, at least you're not a T-Rex trying to drink from the water fountain. Oh dear. <laughs> All right. I just want to say thank you guys. I have had a few people message me saying that they've gone and bought those books and that they are enjoying them. And so that's why I share it in my videos because I just find them enjoyable and super funny and they just bring a smile to your face no matter what kind of day you're having. So I just thank you for those messages and I hope you guys enjoy continuing to see from them. So guys, let's jump into how much I spent this week. Any guesses? Like, all my Christmas shopping's done. And I guess, I don't know, I've been in the mood to go shopping some more. But like, I haven't actually gone out and done it yet. So, I mean, I guess that's a good thing that I'm not spending money. So, any guesses? Any? Pop them in the comments. What do you think? Well, this is all. <laughs> Three charges for last week, guys. Now, I did have a couple of other eat out or um, grocery ones. I don't track necessarily the ones that I actually use cash for. I... I'm only tracking the ones that I have to pay my credit card back for. So obviously I did have a little bit more spending than this as far as like groceries and maybe some coffee or something like that. But right now I am just using this to track what I used my credit card for that I need to pay back. And so being that it's only three charges and two different categories, I'm just going to do one grand total today instead of breaking it up. So I have 17 plus 18, plus 40, so a grand total of $75, you guys. That is probably the least amount I have put on my credit card in a really, really long time. Not that that's a bad thing. So both of these are actually gonna be coming out of my wallet. And so eat out, we're going to have 17 and 18. We're going to have a total of 35 coming from eating out. So let's flip back that. And I believe, let's see, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37. Well, I actually have a couple of dollars left. That's not bad. All right, and then the other one is going to be for gas. And on, gas did go down just a little bit, guys. So I actually was, oh, I'd say on fourth of a tank left. So I had to fill like three-fourths of my tank. And I stopped it at 40. It hadn't clicked yet, but it actually showed that it was full. So I actually almost got completely full on $40, which, which was awesome because I haven't done that in a really, really long time. So we're going to go ahead and take the 40 And while I do have this wallet out, I had somebody ask me in one of my previous videos um, where I got this wallet. It is, um, I'm going to see if I can get this to focus for you guys. There we go. Patricia Nash is the brand. All right, so I have a, a store near me called Von Mar. It's kind of more of a, I don't want to say Midwest. I haven't looked up all the states that it's in, but it's definitely not a countrywide type store. Like, they don't have stores in every single state. 
um, but it is more of like a higher end luxury store. And so while they do carry a few uh, Louis Vuitton items under their case, they don't have like the cute little agendas. I think most of the stores are sold out of those anyway. And I really didn't want to pay $400 for a wallet. <laughs> um, so I searched all of their other ones and ended up finding this one, which was approximately the size that I was looking for because I didn't want a full size rectangle wallet. I just wanted something smaller and compact. And so compared to like the Mo terms or the Louis Vuitton, this I think is a little shorter because it does not fit an A7. I can grab an A7 envelope here for you guys to see. I've got one sitting over here, yes. So for example, here is an A7, and so it is a little shorter, okay? So it's a little shorter, but it's about the same thickness once I put the rings in it. So that was my main thing was I was looking for a wallet that had the ability to go wider so that I could customize it to put rings in. And so I actually bought a um, little mini binder off of Amazon. It was just a three ring and it was one of those clear plastic ones and I cut the top cover off so that I could just have it as a flap in the back and that slides right in here. And then I custom made myself mini or micro mini envelopes to be able to go through this three ring punch. And of course I had to punch these each by hand and like mark them on all of them because I don't have a punch that just has these three holes in it for this size. So I did have to do that by hand, but I made little custom mini envelopes. Um, so far this size has worked for me. I am starting to notice that these first ones that I made with thinner um laminating pouches are not holding up as well but I also I barely gave them any any edge to seal like I cut them shorter than what they needed to be because as you can see I obviously have room that I could have gone a little wider on them and so I mean this was just me playing around and experimenting now these ones in the back here that I added later are definitely with like a thick five mil laminating pouch and so they're nice and really sturdy and they could take a lot more, you know, a lot more beating. <laughs> so, yeah. But these are starting to, these are starting to wear a bit, being that they're just a little three mil. But so far it's worked, you know. And I did get this wallet. It is a leather wallet. I got it on sale for, I want to say $40, $45, which is usually a little more than what I'll spend on a wallet. But it's definitely a lot cheaper than a $400 Louis Vuitton. While I like it, I don't want to spend that, you know? <laughs> so this is working out for now and we will see what is next in my future. I did get some A7s in my mystery box from Brianna over at Brianna Life and Budgets and her breezy budget shop on Etsy. If you did not see that happy mail video, I will link it up above here and you can go check that out and so I did get some a7s in my mystery box and that is actually the next size I was wanting to get as a secondary wallet to have um, so that I could kind of trade back and forth between which one I needed to use to pay based on what purse I was carrying or if I just wanted to carry this and so an a7 is going to be my next I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to go Moterm, if I'm going to go from an Etsy shop that has a similar size Moterm, or if I'm going to look for a LV that is on the gently used, you know, whether the realreal.com or Mercari or one of those sites. And so we'll just see what I find. Um, it's definitely something I still need to save for, but that is my next goal is having a little A7 wallet as well. So, wallet talk aside, you guys, I should have 75 here. So, 20, 40, 60, 70, and 5. That was a real simple one. I definitely, 
if you want to take a peek i'm definitely spending more this current week <laughs> and that was all charges for like one day so we'll see how things go based on that but until next time guys i hope your week is going amazing i hope your spending is on track and i just hope you have a great day so until next time bye Thank you.